Happy Christmas, everybody, from Justin Porter. Uh, I hope you're all having a good time, enjoying yourselves. Um, yeah, Christmas Day, 25th of December, in the land down under. And, um, yeah, my beautiful wife, Nicole, has gone away for five days uh, out west. Uh, she's gone out west. Uh, and she's going to stay with her uh, Jehovah's Witness um, friends. Yeah, friends. Not her family, but they're friends, but they're like family to her. And um, uh, I wasn't invited because I'm an apostate. And, uh, they're, and it's hurting them because they love me. And I'm sure they pray for me. I'm sure they pray that I come back to Jehovah. And I know my wife prays that I return to Jehovah, uh, but I don't believe in it. And uh, I don't want to be forced to pretend just to get my friends and family back, you know. And uh, But it hurts them. And as ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, it's sometimes we forget that our family, our Jehovah's Witness family are hurting because they're forced to shun us and they're doing it out of love and they think it's only by shunning us that we're going to return and they pray for us and, you know, it, cause them, it causes them grief. It, don't, it doesn't just hurt the shunner, it hurts those doing the shunning. So just remember that Jehovah's Witnesses um, are victims of Watchtower, a high control cult and um yeah so i'm on isolation but i'm not really on my own because i'm spending at time with i'm spending time with ex jehovah's witnesses um i could go down for a, a a christmas lunch down at the uniting church or something but um they kind of look at you funny when you say you're an ex jw and Oh, you must have done something wrong, you know, for them to shun you. They look at you sort of strange. Uh, people don't understand that if you disagree with the religion, you'll be shunned. But if I went down to Christmas party, they'll say, oh, oh what you do? You know, shunning? Or you haven't spoken in five years and the wheels cog around in their head. They don't realise that, no, no, you, um, even if you still say you're a Christian, but you don't believe in the watchtower, you'll be shunned, you know, so, but, and I, uh, 2023, I, uh, I blame religion for all the horrible things that have been happening in the world, uh, the massacre of the 1,400 uh, Jewish people, um, and also the sadness of those poor Palestinians that have been bombed and have lost their their children, their husbands, their, their wives, their brothers and sisters. So nobody wins with uh, religion. And um, I do believe it's all over religion. It's not about race. It's not about land. It really is about religion. And uh, I'm just going to turn to my here. Yeah. And... So my heart goes out to the victims, the Palestinian victims, and also the Jewish victims, because there's victims, innocent victims on both sides of every war. And uh, I do believe that this one has been caused by religion. And uh, so it's sad to say, you know, 20, uh, 2023 has been a sad year. For the Russians and the uh, for the Ukrainians, and uh, yeah, the Ukrainians have died, and those um, as I said, there's victims on both sides of every war, and uh, those Russian soldiers that are dying for Putin, um, Putin says that they're going to go to heaven if they fight for Russia. They'll go to heaven, and if there's any Christian Ukrainian children that get killed, they'll go to heaven too. Um, yeah, I'm a cowardly atheist. I believe I only have one life, 
and I don't want to go to war with anybody because I believe that um, I only have one life and if I kill somebody in a war over religion or land, I'm, well, well, I'm an atheist, so I'm not, not religious, they only get one life too. And uh, we're to love each other regardless of colour, yeah? Uh, financial status, we're to love people and don't look on the outside appearance and it's okay to have friends who have different beliefs. We can all still be friends just because our differences shouldn't divide us. Uh, I want to say hello to Colin Zapke, his great YouTube channel. I want to say hello to A Appy, the apostate prophet. I want to say hello to um, Tanner and Samantha on their YouTube, ex-Mormon YouTube channel called Zelf on the Shelf. Leah Remedy uh, from Scientology. I want to say hello to a lot of my commenters, uh, Bob Oaks, uh, Cindy, yeah, Cindy, Bob o and Bob Bokes from America. Happy Christmas. I know you're watching the video, and hi, Cindy, and hi, Bob, Bob Oaks, another commenter, and uh, Rian Coltastic, Tim Mills. Uh, Tim Mills, I want to say happy Christmas to Tim Mills. Tim Mills, he has a YouTube channel called The Harmonic Atheist. I want to say hello to him. I want to say hello to Derek Lambert. Uh, he has a YouTube video called Myth Vision. Um, I want to say hello to all the ex-Jehovah's Witnesses who are watching and all Pimo Jehovah's Witnesses who are very naughty watching my channel. But Merry Christmas and hello. And uh, even though I'm an atheist and I don't believe in Christianity, and uh, but still, you know, uh, it's okay. Agnostic, I'm also an agnostic too. I'm an agnostic atheist. Uh, yeah, so agnostic atheist. And I just want to say hello to everybody. And uh, yeah, no hard feelings. Uh, any Jehovah's Witnesses have shunned me. I know you're doing it out of love because uh, you're doing it because you want me to return to Jehovah and um, live forever on a paradise earth and get a pet panda bear. But I don't believe that <laughs> and uh, I mean it still could be true but I don't have to follow everything that the nine governing body members say and I also want to say hello to Glenn uh, 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 Glenn and um, the, he has a YouTube channel he's a, um, a black brother in uh, America and I was watching his one of his videos and he was saying that all the governing body members are white. Nine. Nine of them are white. And w one's Australian. They've all got American accents. Eight of them have got American accents. One has Australian accent. Sam Hurd, he's not really black. He's kind of light brown. He's light brown. And um, But all the rest of the governing body kind of look like me. Chubby, white hair glasses, old guys, you know, wrink wrinkly skin. And my skin is like the saggy baggy elephant. And people think the saggy baggy elephant, his skin's cute, but they don't think this is cute. You know, it, it, it's funny, isn't it? Like wrinkly skin, you know, on a baby elephant looks cute, but not on a person, you know. So put aside all our differences for 2024. I mentioned Rion Coltastic. If she's watching, thanks. And, uh, oh, the other YouTuber I want to say hello to. Oh, what's her name? Oh, she does the exercise one. Christy. No, no, what's her name? Ah, oh, Rebecca. No, no. She has the exercise channel and she does aerobics. She does aerobics. Oh, she does aerobics. I forget what her name is. Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry for forgetting that. But uh, yeah, happy Christmas, happy Christmas to everybody. And uh, I believe religion is causing a lot of harm in the world. The Middle East is a problem. I believe it's all caused by religion, you know. And there's victims. And uh, stop the bombing, stop the killing. And, um, you know, end it. End this Middle Eastern 
religion, religious, religious war over Judaism and Islam. You know, they've been fighting for centuries. They just became atheists and realised, hey, we've only got one life. And agnostics, if they become agnostic atheists, so we don't know, we probably only do get one life. There probably is no God. The only justice that we're ever going to get in the world is the justice that we make. Um, we have different ideas, different colours, different looks. We all different sizes. Let's just get on because we only have one life. And uh, let's leave this world a better place and than when we entered it. You know, that should be the goal of every human being, to make the world a better place for the coming generations, you know. And uh, so that's all I basically want to say for Christmas. And uh, I want to sing a song by Normie Rowe, Australian singer, Australian singer called Normie Rowe. And he sang this song, he sang this song in 1965, 1965, uh, Normie Row and the Catholic Church uh, kind of banned it from the radio, kind of banned it from the radio. And the song is called It Ain't Necessarily So by Normie Row, 1965, and it goes, It ain't necessarily so, it ain't necessarily so, the things that you liable to read in the Bible ain't necessarily so. Jonah, he lived in a whale. Jonah, he lived in a whale. He made his home in that fish's abdomen. Jonah, he lived in a whale. Moses was found by stream. Moses was found by stream. Saved from the water by old Pharaoh's daughter. Moses was found in a stream. David, uh, now, David was small, but oh my. David was small, but oh my. He fought with Goliath, who lay down and dieth. David was small, but oh my. It ain't necessarily so. The things that your preacher is liable to teach you ain't necessarily so. Happy Christmas, everyone, and make 2024 a good one. And these videos stop when the shunning stops because I won't have to make videos anymore. It's funny. If uh, Jehovah's Witnesses want to stop apostate videos, stop people making apostate videos, just stop shunning and accept everybody for what they believe in. You believe in what you want, it doesn't bother me. Happy Christmas and happy 2024 from Justin Porter, ex Jehovah's Witness.